Hello, it's Dave at Patrol Base again. Today we are looking at the new 2018 version of the Scorpion Evo. Uh, obviously it's a model that's been around for a couple of years now and ASG have just revised it this year. Externally it's identical. All the exciting changes are now on the inside. As we've pulled it apart um, in a previous video, if you want to see that, click up here. Um, we're just going to quickly pull it apart. We'll just speed through it on the camera um, and we'll get to the exciting stuff. All right. Okay, so we've now got apart the 2018 version and just to prove that they are very, very similar, here is the old UK spec version. So the way to tell the difference between the two, the 2018 version has the ASG stamp on the top of the gearbox. You can see this through the uh, dust cover. Um, the 2018 version has a slightly different shape on the cutout. And if you look up the magwell, the 2018 version has a chamfered gearbox case. Cool, we're going to pull the 2018 version completely apart now to the gearbox. Um, so we'll speed it up again just for the camera to get to the gearbox uh, case itself. Two hours later. So now that they're both completely apart, you can see the differences that we were talking about a bit earlier much more clearly. The ASG logo is obviously visible there as opposed to sort of hidden behind the wire routing. The cutout on the cylinder is the ASG logo shape on the new one. Uh, the bevel across the front obviously doesn't exist on the old one. Uh, and the new one is a zinc alloy as opposed to an aluminium uh, based receiver. And the cable routing on the 2018 version is a lot easier to deal with than the old one which tended to, to catch your wires slightly. So turning the gearboxes over, you can see on the bottom of the motor uh, housing on the new one is milled completely, whereas on the old one only what's not required has been taken off. So that's a better manufacturing process on the new one. On the far side, there aren't as many diff new differences. Um, obviously you've still got the, the cutout for the new one um, as opposed to the old one. Uh, and all of the switches are pretty much the same. It looks like it's going to be using the same trigger as well. And on the new version, the gearbox selector routings are machined properly, as opposed to the old one, which just relied on the casting. It does mean it selects a lot better. When you, uh, you're handling the, uh, the gun, you can tell that there is a difference. Right, so now that we've got them completely apart, we can really see the similarities. So from the front, the screws are holding together are the same, the MOSFET unit is the same, the nozzle appears to be the same. The gear sets are the same, although the bevel gear on the new version does appear to be mounted slightly closer to the spur gear. The trigger is the same, and your spring guides and selector components, they're all the same as well. So the differences are a new uprated piston with the ASG stamp on it, uh, like I say, the bevel gear location, the cylinder on the uh, cutout, and the piston head as well is a different shape with the, uh, the cylinder head too. Okay, now we can see where the differences really are. So if we look at the piston head, obviously the old one is completely flat. The, the new one has more vent holes, the branded ASG and does have the ridge. That's going to give you less um, contact surface, um, which is going to make the AG sound slightly quieter. On the piston itself, the rack on the new one does have two more metal teeth. Uh, and that's going to aid in longevity and if you're into tuning and short stroking then you may be able to get it to just run on the metal rack. On the cylinder head the new one is stamped ASG on the front and on the back again there's a bunch of ridges so you've got far less contact area um, and you're going to get a much quieter AG as a result. The cylinder itself, I've measured them and they're both cut out to the same depth, so your volume of air is the same. Um, you just get a larger window with that and only two, not the four of the old one. I believe that's probably a styling um, thing. And the tappet plate is just slightly different on the shape. That'll just be to aid in feeding at your higher rates of fire if you want to do that. Okay, now that we've finished looking at the differences on the inside, we're going to reassemble both guns and we're going to show you shooting on the range. You can really hear both sound differences. Right, we're down on the outdoor range now. We're going to shoot both the old and new 2018 revision uh, and give them a sound comparison test. 
both guns are loaded up with blast of 0.25 BBs, a 7.4 volt battery. And now the new Evo, the 2018 revision. So here you have it. The 2018 does sound slightly crisper. The gears are slightly tied together, and you can hear that in the uh, in the shooting. Both the old and new 2018 revision Evo are available at patrolbase.co.uk.